What's going on folks, Brian here. Before I go into talking about how to tweak the HP touchpad, how to overclock it, how to get the most out of your $149 or $99 purchase, <laughs> let me just say one thing. Steve Jobs has resigned from Apple. Steve Jobs has resigned Step down on health grounds. The world is shocked. I'll tell you what. Steve Jobs stepped down because I don't think he slept the last three, four days. I think he's taken a mental health day because the HP touchpad has stole the press. All anyone's talking about is this touchpad that's got the same screen as the iPad and iPad 2. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, dual core. Much better than what Apple iPad 2's offering you. It's offering you one gig of RAM. One gig of RAM. I mean, you can't deny the fact that the HP touchpad has been in the news everywhere. Everywhere. That's all anyone's talking about is this fire sale. And Steve Jobs has resigned. The man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> in his own mind. Look at that. Oh, Steve. Steve, you haven't been sleeping at night because you realize that the HP touchpad has come in and stole your thunder? Has come up behind you and smacked you upside the head? Has knocked you off your big wheels? Mr. Jobs, you need to realize something. When the iPad 3 comes out, if you, or you won't be there, that's right, because you just resigned. When the Apple iPad 3 comes to the market, whoever has taken your spot, some guy named Thomas, I think his name is Thomas, well, they better be selling that iPad 3 for $190. Because after what HP has done with this touchpad, the world knows your products are underperforming and overpriced. That's right. They underperform. Can I interrupt your studio? Oh, hold on, folks. What, you need a kiss? I need a kiss. Oh, that's my wife, folks. And the credit card number is on yep. the memo board. Okay, thank you. So you can buy all the things that you need to buy for All me. the touchpad accessories. No, I just want jewelry and trips. And okay, bags yeah. All and right. Coach, and those Dolce uh, Gabbana sunglasses you're wearing? I'd like a pair for me. Mwah. Folks, that's something you won't hear any iPad fanboy. And the, you know what I mean? His wife in the background, because they don't have wives. They got mas. And they don't own houses and cars. They don't. I understand. Okay, see? So that's what happens when you film live. So anyway, Steve Jobs. Done. Done because of uh, mental health issues. I'd have nightmares too if I'm thinking about releasing a project in, in 2012 and the project took me a whole year and, and, and we're going to brand it as the iPad 3 but it's really made out in China. And, and, and it's just cheap, just like everybody else is. And then here comes the HP at $149 for the 32 gig model, 32 gigabyte model. Ah. Anyways, enough about me uh, bashing poor Steve Jobs. You know, the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Look at that. Oh well. It's not liver cancer, pancreatic cancer. It's HP cancer. He's got the touch of the touchpad fever. I bet you Steve Jobs went out and bought maybe six or seven of these fucking things. So, let's get back to improving the speed of your touchpad. So, right after you do the update, and uh, ZDNet, ZDNet uh, has an excellent article. I'll post it in the... Um, the link there but the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up 
the dialer app for the uh, HP tablet. Now, they don't tell you this in any of the reviews, but your ass has to have either an HP phone to link it with or a Skype account to get that dial pad. And that's what's annoying. So you load up the, uh, the program and you hit the little dial a button. And uh, again, folks, I, I'm going to try to do this uh, while holding a camera. It's pound, pound, five, six, four, seven, pound. Hit the call button, and you're going to see logging comes up. Now, you want to click on the change log levels, and then set to minimal. That's the first thing you do. Now, I've already done it. And, and, and again, I kind of like this whole swipe in action. I think it's kind of cool. Once you do that, now you can go ahead and install Preware. Like I was telling you before, install the Preware. And you're going to want to do all your uh, tweaks that we talked about. So let's, let me launch Preware here. And it's this little guy, the download button. And uh, the little, little guy sitting right there, a little penguin sitting in the box. That's pre-wear. It's going to set up all your feeds. There's some really good articles about overclocking from ZDNet. And it's surprising because usually ZDNet doesn't really focus too much on the hardware overclocking and uh, customization. But he, uh, and, and by he I mean um, James Kendrick, he's actually put out some really good articles recently about the HP touchpad. So... I just got to give kudos to him, actually showing people, uh, these are the um, patches that he's actually installed himself for his touchpad. I've already showed you what I've installed. So once you get Preware up, I mean, it's simple. It's so simple. I mean, you can go to Available Packages, Kernel, All, and some people are talking about the F15C kernel that lets you go to like 1.7 gigahertz uh, I haven't installed that I actually installed and you won't see it because um, I already installed it but that's what you want to do available packages kernel and it's you're gonna see right here uh, the kernel that I actually installed which um, off the top of my head to tell you the truth I think it's something like uh, Uber kernel. Sorry about that. I had a friggin' Steve Jobs mental moment there. Uber kernel. So you install that. Okay. And again, you're going to have to add custom feeds. And it's not that hard to do to add the custom feeds. In fact, let me show you a bookmark site right now. It's um, got a slow HP touchpad. Here's some things to do. They mentioned, of course, the logging, and they mentioned putting on the um, the patches that eliminate the logging altogether. That's the first thing you want to do. Then they mentioned uh, getting into developer mode. That's something I don't think I've done here live yet. So let me swipe out of this, get that out of there. You're going to want to type right in the menu. You're going to want to type web OS. Two zero zero nine zero six zero six, and look what pops up developer mode. So, you're going to want to click on developer mode first thing, it's going to load it up. And it's this thing's fast, of course. And, and I got it on, it's going to have off when you first do it. You're going to want to say on, and it's going to say, Do you want a password? Don't type anything for the password. Just hit submit. You're going to leave it blank so you don't have to type in the password every time you want to go into developer mode. So developer mode now is in there. And that's one of the coolest things is how fast you can get this thing overclocked. So we'll go back into our preware right there. And we're going to search after we installed that kernel. It's going to want us to reboot, so we're going to reboot. Then we search for governor, and just, just type GOV and enter. And there's governor. 
and you can see I got a little green mark there that's because I already installed it go ahead and install governor I swipe this shit out Whoop. makes a sound which is kind of cool so I got uh, downloads and I've got governor it's pretty hard to look through this little camera screen and uh, get this done right now you gotta set the profile okay so you click on profile and I got on demand click on the on demand TCL 1512 1.5 gigahertz baby that's what I'm running right now BAM and you don't need to keep this open go ahead and and, and uh, swipe it out but there's a way to like make it go down and up let's see if I can do it it's a little trick Woo! you see that I went down and up I went down and up let's see if I can do it with the web browser I'm getting good at this uh, gesture crap. Gest well, it's not crap. I like the gestures, but I mean, it's kind of gimmicky, you know, these gestures. Let's see if I can do this. Whoosh. Whoosh. I did it once. Whoosh. Woo! It bounced. You know, just like a ball, because I'm balding. So once you get everything overclocked, you know, you install all your patches, you know, you're going to have to um, reboot after you do the kernel. It's worth it. This thing is so fast. And and again, I'm going to show you the browser. People would dog in the browser, but once you take off the download throttling limit and you, you you know, let's go to a page I haven't been there before. Let's go to um Engadget, right? Cuz Engadget is like super graphic intensive apparently, I don't know. Uh N Gadge. Let's go to Engadget. And click on the link. Let me zoom out here. So you see there's no funny business. And according to my Wi-Fi, I'm actually not... I don't have a really strong signal right now, which is kind of surprising. But here comes in Gadget, and it's loaded right up. And while it's loading the... Flash, your page, I mean, in this pinch to zoom, you want to talk about pinch to zoom that's like flawless? I mean, I don't know if this camera is actually showing us how fast that pinch to zoom is. How smooth. I mean, because I came from the G, the ViewSonic G tablet, and that shit was not smooth at all. And, and, and you couldn't do like this. You couldn't do that because it wouldn't recognize that pinch. Like, it won't recognize that. It will recognize this very clumsily, very laggy. I mean, especially on honeycomb. Honeycomb isn't as smooth as I'd like it to be. But watch this. It, it, I mean, it recognizes just a tiny pinch. And it's very sensitive. Like, if I want to go real quick... Bam, 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 bam. I mean, it's very quick. So I don't know what they're talking about as far as lag goes. You guys saw that live. That in gadget loaded right up. Uh, let's try to refresh it. See what we get for speeds. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's. I mean, how much quicker do you want that? That's the whole page. That's the whole page loaded up. That's a lot of graphics. Um, so again, swipe out of here. Love that. I'll let, let's say if I can go down real quick. I don't know. I'm not good at it. Oh, that, that one worked. I'm not good at the the swiping yet. It's very uh, alien to me. I gotta show you this really cool um, app. And this is, I think this is Bing. I'm not sure if this is Microsoft Bing, but this is like a 3D enabled map it blows Google map and and I'm gonna allow the location and I'm gonna kind of go over here so you guys don't stalk me but this thing is just it's trying to it's gonna find my location based on Wi-Fi and sometimes all right so it found my location sometimes um, it's slower than others let's go to satellite I'm gonna put satellite up and see what you guys think I zoom in a little, zoom out a little here. 
So, there's where I live, somewhere along those lines. I mean, look how fast that is. I mean, once you got your location, I mean, is that that's just like the computer. In fact, it's faster than the computer. You zoom in real quick. Look at that. Look at that pinch to zoom. It's, incre it's, it's incredible. Pinch to zoom is incredible. I love it. Ballin'.